Welcome back guys to my channel. Today I want to talk about how I found my apartment in London and I want to help you guys and give you advice on how you guys also can find your perfect apartment in London. Finding your first apartment abroad can be really hard, uh, especially if you don't know the city very well. In this video I want to uh, tell you guys about how I found my flat in London. I'm currently living in quite central London with a really reasonable rent as well. So let's start with how I found my apartment. It's important to know what you're looking for before you start searching. Since it's easy to get distracted, uh, I will recommend writing down all your requirements uh, from the most important to the least important uh, requirements. So in my case, when I was looking for my apartment, uh, my my requirements or my criteria for the apartment was that we were based on the office uh, location, so it needed to be close to my office. And the second one was the, close to the I mean, central, so I want to be I want to locate pretty central in, in the city, so I don't want to commute for too long. Uh, close to train stations is really important, cool, especially in the UK or in London. That, uh, really close to the train station then that means you can go wherever you want in London. And the last one was clean and well equipped apartment. Uh, you'd be surprised about this house the quality of apartment in the UK so that was one of my least um, least important requirements but still one of uh, in my list which was pretty high up. In my opinion the best site uh, with the widest variety uh, of apartment and flats is rightmove.uk uh, I think uh, which I would recommend and which that was the one I used uh, something I experienced uh, in like compared to Oslo uh, London market is more expensive obviously it's bigger and more buyer means that uh, if the demand is higher that means the price would be higher as well uh, and the general standard, the living standard in the UK and in London are much lower. Uh, that's something you need, I think you need to consider as well if you think of moving from a uh, Scandinavian city to, uh, to UK. You'll see many old buildings which are not great, honestly. I think even this uh, apartment which I'm at now is not new. Uh, so take that in consideration when you're looking for your apartment. Look, if you don't like an apartment, then you have to pay extra money to get a new apartment because there's so few new buildings in the UK, in London, obviously. And I think uh, I, would, I would like to give you guys some tips and some short uh, advice on exactly a few things to look after before when you are actually looking for, searching for your apartment. Uh, I think uh, the first one I want to give is that it has always stay close to the train station because it's really convenient. Uh, no matter where you work is, no matter how, how far you need to commute, if the train station is, is really near your apartment, it's a huge benefit. Always ask the long, long load, <laughs> landlord to lower the rent. I think yeah, that's something which I'm not used to. I wasn't used to. Uh, is asking for a lower rent uh, because um, even though I have rented an apartment before I have never bargained for the price but I think in the UK you can get the apartment pretty cheap, cheaper than the original price which they're giving you so bargain and get the best price by bargaining I think make sure you ask the real estate agent about this area, the area you're looking for I think one thing is important in the UK that because in London especially, the London is so big, uh, so all the house areas within the city is widely different than each other. So, for example, if you're living in, let me give you that, like Westminster compared to Chelsea, it's a huge difference there. So, both in prices and the quality, and also the safety. Uh, so, make sure to ask you all. Everybody you know actually, not just uh, the real estate agent, but the landlord and the people you know. And the fourth one I will say that ask somebody you know who's familiar with the city to get advice on where to live. 
bring me a big city that's how the crow goes, of course. So I think finding a safe environment, especially if you're living alone, I think is important. So make sure you do good research beforehand to choosing your area. Like, don't forget, it's really difficult to find a flat with utility bills included. I think that's something which is different compared to Norway. I think in Norway, you find many apartments, many flats. It does, we do include uh, ut utility bills, but that does happen in the UK, especially in London. That's how, what I have say, got to experience from looking around in, in London. So you can expect to pay a couple of hundred extra pounds extra uh, above the initial rent you agreed on. The utility bills are individual to each flat, so you can expect to pay the council tax, which is so strange because I know we don't like the, 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 the tenant doesn't pay any tax, but in UK the tenant does pay tax. Uh, so in my case, I'm paying the council tax, electricity bills, and of course the broadband or like the Wi-Fi. Uh, so those are the utility bills which I'm paying currently. So let's see exactly how you guys can set up your bills. I'm not an expert in this area, so um, since I just moved to Norway, I'm pretty new to all the skills. But, so I'm giving you guys what uh, what I did when I first moved in. So for the council tax, it's based on your, the council your flat is connected to. You. So it's based on the area you live in. So so what I did that I contacted my council about the council tax and I created an account on the site so I can pay the council tax directly. So I'm uh, I'm paying that debit uh, per month. So they're just gonna extract the money from my bank account uh, monthly and my came around 100 and something pounds i'm not too sure yet so just go to the council uh, side your council from your every area and just make an account and you can pay directly from there the second one was electricity which i did straight away the next day when i came there uh, i called the uk electricity the, like a uh, department and you need to know who is the provider electricity provider to your flat first so i did that and i found out that sse electricity was the provider for my flat so i called them and i told them okay i'm just moved in now so what do i need to do because i didn't know anything so what they did they said okay we just transferred the account over to your name and they gave me a new package uh, based on their their recommendation because I, honestly I didn't know which package to choose so I just took the recommendation for now maybe I'll change later because it doesn't have any kind of as a binding tools the the how say the contract I signed with the electricity company so I can how say uh, break the contract anytime without any extra charges which is really nice so I can change company the electricity company if I want to uh, the next thing maybe the word most important thing for us of course is um, broadband right so like Wi-Fi I was first thinking when I moved here I would use my 4G but uh, I found out how much uh, data I actually use uh, daily so that can't be done so that's why I ordered uh, my broadband maybe a couple of days ago it hasn't arrived yet so it arrived on 7th so it takes like a week to arrive and operate so I would recommend like uh, searching online uh, and looking for which provider gives you the best coverage um, both in price and also in the speed because I think uh, there's a huge variety of uh, providers uh, with the variety of speeds like um, data speed and also uh, I think coverage as well is important especially in some areas of the city there are more coverage of more providers so uh, do consider that uh, and I think uh, at the end of the day, I think I got a pretty good contract through my work uh, because they we have like a contract. The, the, the company which I'm working for have a contract with a supplier or provider, which gave me a discount, which is really nice. So I got my broadband through them. I think. It's important to 
know that when you move to London, of course, like in my case, that you need to know that you are moving to a bigger city. So living in a bigger city, like I said, has many problems as many positive benefits. Like the benefits are like you are in a bigger city, you have really nice restaurants. Uh, I'll, I'll be living off, uh, I'll say, Deliveroo and Uberies for the past couple of days, but so you have great varieties there and so many so many things are happening not currently in the, during the covid 19 but still it's, it's, it's a nice place to be but the drawbacks are that i will say that there are some safety concerns when you move to london or like for example new york and many big cities like that that they do recommend you to not like walk around in the city at night uh, especially alone so those things are something which I am not that used to or want to used to before. So I think I would recommend you guys to find a place which are which is more safer towards uh, your living, I would say. And I think uh, in some cases, if you're alone, uh, I think I will recommend finding a, a safer area to live in London, so you, so the safety isn't that big a concern please please do research on the area you're looking for because I think that's important that you know exactly where the amenities are and like exactly where the location of that area is and it's, it's, it's close to for example uh, shops, uh, train stations and such in my case I'm living how say a crossroad for a police station I don't know if that's good or bad but that's, uh, that's my location at least I feel quick police thing because I think police are always going around in this area. It's a little bit noisy sometimes but still it's not that bad. So I'll leave you guys there and hopefully I'll give you guys like my perspective on how this move went. And I'm sure there will be many things which I which I have to counter the next couple of weeks or months. So I I'll try to update you guys uh, if you have any questions uh, regarding anything because I'm, I don't think I went to everything uh, in this video so please uh, leave your comments down below I'll try to answer them in the comments and also if you have uh, if there are many questions I might make uh, another video and if you guys want to see my apartment uh, so leave, leave a comment down below I'll, I'll make a, a house tour but uh, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next uh, in the next video and bring you guys more entertaining, more fun videos in the future. And please uh, like, subscribe and share. And see you guys next time. Bye.